The Team Lolly Show was previously recorded. It's time to enter the world of real estate in Oahu with Hawaii's only true real estate radio show, the Team Lally Real Estate Show. Grab a pen and get ready to take notes. For the next full hour, Hawaii's premier real estate leader, Adrienne Lally and Attilio Leonardi, will bring you the latest in real estate news and real-world strategies on how they can guarantee to sell your home at a price and deadline you agree to, or they'll buy it. Now, here are your hosts, Adrian and Attilio. Welcome to the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the Guaranteed Sold Program, or we'll buy it. If you have any questions, just give us a call at 799-9596, or check us out online at teamlally.com. Hey, everybody. This is Attilio, and this is the art part of the show, where between shows, what I do is I look for things that I think that I know will be helpful to our listeners uh, if you put these things into your life. I think they'd make uh, a better version of you because we always have room for improvement. Adrian, what's the opposite of calm? That would be chaos. Chaos. You know, when you're when when you as a person are calm, mm -hmm. there's one way that your body is reacting. When you're not calm, what? How does the body react? I, I would say you have all sorts of hormones like what yeah. like cortisol and just um your heart rate will go up and you know yeah. your, your body does not react well it's like a stressful response well it's kind of like or, that fight or flight was that movie where there was an animation and they had there was inside the people's brains and then it had all these different emos mm -hmm. emojis mm -hmm. yes and they had the one that was like anger and he was like his head would blow off and flames would come shooting out Yes. And uh, that's the opposite of calm. Mm -hmm. And he was red. And I think the calm person was maybe like blue, just kind of relaxed, like floating in the ocean. That reminds me, that color blue. So some techniques for calm. Uh, you know, a lot of times people hear the word calm and you start thinking of some of that woo-woo stuff, hippy-dippy things. There's actually an app called Calm. A meditation yeah. app, which every I, time I, I listen like, to I that like, calm, it stresses me out. That I, I like it. Uh, it's like kidding. ten minutes every morning. Yeah, great way to start your day. Yes, you know, well, someone like me, I just don't need one more app in my life. In fact, mm -hmm. I went through. You know, it was a good calming exercise for me. I went through and started deleting apps off my oh. phone. You, you can start on mine next. Yeah, I have I was a lot doing of a minimalist apps. approach <laughs> to the apps on my phone, and like I haven't used this app in however long. And I'm not one of those people like, oh, I might use it. Nope, gone, delete. And I like how the Apple phone, it, like, it asks you, you sure you want to delete it? I'm like, heck yeah. I wish it was a heck yeah button, H-E double hockey sticks button. Hmm. Anyway, calm, the military, uh, do you think people in the military are in stressful situations? I mean, that's what they're training for, right? That's what yes. they signed up for? Yep, they trained you how to, you know, how to be under those stressful yeah type of situations. So this is from the book, Dare to Lead, that uh, we finally finished up with our team. We've been probably reading it for, I don't know, six months. Mm -hmm. And the uh, page 256, strategies for, for reckoning with emotion, because it's emotions that create the opposite of calm. Mm -hmm. And uh, tactical breathing. Tactical breathing is breathing in for a count of four, holding for a count of four, and then breathing out for a count of four. I learned about that on my uh, most recent meditation on the Calm app. Yeah. They take you through those breathing exercises. Yeah, so whether you're in yoga yes. or if you're a army sniper, same mm -hmm. thing. Speaking of someone that brings calmness <laughs> to the wacky world of property management, we have who's on there, Adrian? We have Duke Kim Han of Hawaii Pacific Property Management. Yes. What you got for us this week? Hey, good afternoon on this sunny day. Hello, yes. hello. Yeah, it's a beautiful so, day in Hawaii. I just wanted to chat real quick about the moratorium extension. The eviction with, moratorium, uh, yeah. Yeah, the governor extended the eviction moratorium to August 6th. So that's terrible news for a lot of people, um, a lot of property managers and a lot of property owners. So what that means is that there, you cannot evict anybody um, because of the pandemic supposedly, and it's going to last now. It's probably being extended eight times. So now the effective 
date, and he said that this will be the last extension. It's going to be August 6th because the city and county of Honolulu and, and most of the counties around the United uh, around the, the state of Hawaii are preparing for the end of the eviction moratorium, which means that the new system, actually there's a bill in Congress right now in our Congress, I think it's Bill 1371, that will state that you have to do uh, mediation before you can go into eviction court. Mm. And that will mandate it, and they're actually hiring more mediators and hiring more people to get ready for this uh, end of the eviction moratorium. Wow. I know. A lot going on. So if you're you're a property owner and you got a tenant in there, there's I, I mean, pretty much there's nothing you can do at this point. Well, you could sell your property. <coughs> oh, yeah. I know that you like, once, once you yeah. sell the property, then the tenant can has to leave. Yes. That would be an option. Right. Once the actual <laughs> property closes in escrow, then the new buyer can give a 45-day notice to the tenant and they must leave. Or if the property owner or owner's relative is going to be moving into the property, then they can give a 45-day notice. Oh, they can have family move in. Oh. Yes. Well, at least there's they some... take possession. Yeah, there's some different uh, work workarounds. Yeah. Yeah. If you have any questions, just give me a call at 445-9223, or you can look us up on the internet. But either way, um, Hawaii Pacific Property Management will help you through that. All right. Now, I just I want to uh, compliment you guys. You just won the number one best of for uh, property management. Woo-hoo. So... Congra- congratulations <laughs> on that. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. We're, we're lucky. Yeah. I no, appreciate it. I don't work think hard. you're lucky. You, you know guys, what they're lucky? Because the harder they work, the That's luckier right. they get. You guys are. Yeah. 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 So. Well deserved. All right. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Duke. Bye bye. By the way, we have a recording of the governor making the announcement for the extension. Here we go. Let's go ahead and play that. Yeah. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to extend this one more time. Uh, <laughs> I know it was seven times already, but you know, eight time is a uh, eight time is a uh, is a good number. Chinese good luck number eight, <laughs> and uh, I promise that uh, we're not going to extend one more time. This is it. <laughs> Thank you, Governor. Uh, that wasn't the Governor. In case everybody was like, "What? You guys got the Governor on your show?" No, we're not the, I know we've been doing the show for eight years, but I, you know, I tried getting the Mayor on the show. Their their declined. office politely declined. Okay, so if you do have any questions about your options, about the moratorium, about anything related to property management, do give Duke Kim Han a call, yeah. him and his team, at 445-9223. That's 445-9223. Check them out online at hipacificpm.com. Well, hey, this is, uh, you know, back to what I, w- I, you know, I have some other information. It's a real estate show. So let's, let's talk about real estate. Okay. Something recently that came up with one of our clients is uh, owner builder, owner builder permits. It's uh, Hawaii. It actually comes under in actual law, Hawaii revised statute chapter 444. Yep. Got tree falls, tree falls. <laughs> and uh, what it states is that a homeowner with an owner, I'm reading it uh, from the regulated industries. Complaints office. So what is that? Rico. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're located on 235 South Baratania Street on the ninth floor. Anyway, DCCA. And it's a bulletin from them. And a homeowner with an owner builder permit is treated as a general contractor for the period for the project. And as such is responsible for ensuring the projects, um, uh, making sure that it meets building codes, complies with the permitting process, including having the project inspected by a county builder, building inspector. So you're you're kind of like acting as a general contractor without the license, uh, but there's some responsibilities. Uh, so here's the main thing. The law is limited to owner occupants. Therefore, when built under the owner builder exemption structure can only be used by the owner occupant, not the general public. Um, and the home is built, a, a home built or renovated under an owner builder permit cannot be sold or leased for one year following the final inspection. An owner builder can apply to the contractor's licensing board for a hardship exemption, such as the need to sell the property because, and the example they give is divorce. So in in our example, it was a a death. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get that exemption. Yeah. So they- And be able to uh, get the home sold. And I think the the law- 
once you submit the request for the exemption, the law requires that the, you get a response, I think, within 90 days. Because mm-hmm. uh, they, what they do is they meet once a month. They're not all sitting down there, this general contractor's board, because I think it's made up, might, might be made up, some of volunteers, some of paid people, professionals. But um, uh, they take a look at your proposal, and they're going to either give the exemption or not. Uh, plan B would be if the permit's still open is you just slide over to a general contractor and get them to take over because they can, you, then you can immediately sell. So you have a plan B. Speaking of plan B, in a 1031 exchange, the guy we recommend is Kyle Shimoda from Impact Well Solutions. If you're thinking about doing a 1031, maybe your plan B should be a DST. Or it could be a plan A. Plan A. Yeah. Plan A or B. Mm-hmm. Options. That's Kyle. Right. <laughs> so, uh, Kyle, what real quick? You know, we know 1031. It's it's selling a non-owner occupied investment property to defer the capital gains, and we know we can buy a like kind property, which is you know other kind of real estate. Uh, but what is a mm-hmm. what's a DST? What does it what does it stand for, and what is it? So a DST, what it stands for is a Delaware Statutory Trust. Uh-huh. So it's a trust that holds institutional property. Um, yeah, funny, on most properties that are in these. Delaware statutory trusts are not in Delaware. They can be anywhere in the country, yet most times they're in states that have high income or net cap rate. Mm -hmm. So you don't often find these commercial properties uh, in Hawaii. They're normally Arizona, California, Washington, New York, places like that. And um, they can range from a medical facility, student housing, self-storage, it could even be an Amazon warehouse or a Walmart. So these are typically fifty to five hundred million dollar valued properties. Yeah. So you guys are doing, and you guys are doing a lot of research. Mm-hmm. A lot of due diligence. No dartboards. No darts on a dartboard. You guys are doing a lot of research on these properties. How, you know, how long do you think they do the research? Like how, what, over what time period? If you had to guess, I, I don't know if you would know. Oh, um, t- typically it, it's a year or two. So okay. we work with. Um, what's called sponsoring companies, right? So they're large real estate investment companies. They buy these properties a year or two in advance, yeah. and they've done their due diligence before purchasing. They fix it up, get the renters in there, leases, and then by the time it gets offered to you know the public, which well, not necessarily the public, the, the advisors like me, it comes to my desk, and my team and I, we review these things. We do our due diligence. We don't take all the DSCs that come to our desk. Yes. So by the time we offer it to our clients, um, there's been several hands of due diligence and, and uh, almost two years of time that's gone by. Yeah. Now, Kyle, I know we're going to be having you on our show as um, our featured guest to yeah. talk about this uh, very important topic that's uh, currently coming up with the, the taxes and the changes to the 10 thir- the potential changes to the 1031 exchange. Yeah. 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 What's being proposed? Yeah, just touch on that real quick because I think we're going to be having you on in the next week or so. Yeah. Yeah. Give them a teaser. Yeah. Yeah, so I would say, you know, right now the the, the 1031 exchange um, law is one of the best ways to to build and accumulate wealth. Yeah. So obviously that's been on the chopping block for many, many years, right? People are looking at ways, or the government's looking at ways to raise more uh, capital and taxes, taxes. so they can they yeah. pay for things, right? And so this this isn't a new uh, thing in, in terms of, you know, them going after it, yet what it potentially could impact is people that have purchased property, have a lot of capital gains in there, potentially if this law goes through, there's going to be a uh, exemption amount. So... For an individual, half a million, a couple combined, a million total mm-hmm. would be exempt from capital gains taxes. Anything above that would be taxable. Now, you guys had so, done the math, and um, here in Hawaii, it was a, effectively about a 50% tax on anything that was pot- not exempt, potentially. Potentially. Yeah. Yeah, because Right now, the top tax rate is 20%. Uh-huh. The proposal that Biden has in there, wants, he wants to increase it to 39.6. Wow. So yeah. just, just on the, the capital gains tax, that's doubling. Mm-hmm. And then you've got the Medicare surtax and the Hawaii state tax at 7.25. So 
so effectively almost 50% on all of your gains over your exemption amount. So, so it's huge. Um, I would say that there's the short story of it is if, if people are considering doing exchange this year, um, definitely look closely at it. Talk to your, your tax person because yeah. if these tax rules go through, it um, will start effectively um, in 2022. However, might be retroactive to April of 2021. Wow. Yeah. That's nuts. That is just absolutely nuts. Yeah. Kyle, now you had, you had mentioned um, a website that we could go to to, you know, voice concerns. So if any of our listeners want to go there and say, hey, you know, this is not such a good idea. and um, Yeah, let there... your politicians know. Hey. Yeah. So so where can they go to, to voice concerns on this? Ooh, hold on. That's a great question. You know, I think the best thing is I'll, I'll get you the information. And if you can put it up on the Team Lolly DSP. Yeah, yes. we'll just put it then, there. We yeah. will. Yeah, we'll add it. We're gonna. And add by the way, that's uh, teamlallydst.com. Teamlallydst.com. And Lally is spelled L-A-L-L-Y. All right. All right. Thanks, Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. Now our uh, live streaming people were saying they were having a hard time hearing Kyle, so I kind of want to repeat that uh, what Kyle Kyle's with Impact Well Solutions and what mm-hmm. they're doing is. Helping us find DSTs, Delaware Statutory Trusts, or investment vehicles that we can take our investment property, 1031 Exchange, into. But the main thing is what? What are the big headaches you get rid of when you're, instead of buying another residential property? Um, you're able to invest and not have all those headaches that you get with the residential property. Yeah, like vacancies, because if you're buying like a storage unit, you know, mm-hmm. if the People not paying their bill for the storage unit, they just auction it off. But it doesn't affect too much the income, uh, office buildings, medical buildings, student housing. I think you're lowering your risk. Yeah, it's you're diversifying the risk over yeah. over a huge property. You're probably because the cap rates and cap rates means just how much money you make in Hawaii, and because mm-hmm. there our purchase prices are so high, that percentage of return is lower typically in Hawaii because our our percentages are so high that you're investing in the mainland where the initial purchase costs in relationship to the income is much better. But our equity growth is wonderful here, though. Yeah. Equity so. growth, yeah, yeah, the long play on that. Yeah. Uh, I, I look at it this way. We got we talked to a, one lady, and she just said, I'm just tired of dealing with tenants, mm-hmm. the complaints, the broken appliances. So speaking of the equity yeah. growth, I think we hit a new record. Yeah. Record if, high. Uh, here's the surf report for the real estate. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's coming in on the south shore, two to three feet, glassy with a off, little bit of offshore wind. No, that's not the surf report for real estate. So single family homes, median single family price. What does that mean, medium single family price, Adrian? So half the home sold for more, half sold for less. It's that half one that's more? right in the middle. Right in the, the middle. Median. It's not a happy middle, especially if you're trying to buy a single family home here in Hawaii. Nine new record. So it's never been this high be- ever before in the entire time that they've been tracking this data. And and prior to that, homes were a lot less expensive. So, period, nine hundred seventy eight thousand dollars is the median single family price. Uh, closed sales we did uh, in uh, what was it? Or, oh yeah, May mm-hmm. four hundred four four hundred and five closed units. Days on market uh, are even going faster. Only eight days on market is the average. Condos. Four hundred fifty-seven thousand seven hundred fifty dollars, up about fourteen percent from a year ago, and uh, homes up twenty, up twenty-two percent from a year ago. Same time, same month, a year ago. Five hundred ninety-eight closed units, days on market again dropping to twelve days. So, what do these numbers mean? You're if you're a buyer, what do these numbers mean if you're a buyer? That means uh, that. You need to come in sh- with a strong offer that yeah. the sell- sellers are pretty much getting what they're asking for in most, if not more, in, in most neighborhoods. Yeah. yeah you're going to be competing. You're going to be competing. So if you're like, oh, let's offer less, I think your realtor just should hang up on you immediately <laughs> because that makes no sense whatsoever if well, the data and the indi- and it depends. I would say it depends if the on seller the has really overpriced the home, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then you but don't. If they're yeah. priced to the market and you want to offer less and try and negotiate, this is yeah. not the market to do Well, here's the deal. And it's not the market to not have representation. Yeah. Yeah. I heard a good quote. It was, uh, you can't read 
the label of a Coke bottle from inside the bottle. Yeah, that is true. You can. You can do it. And so if you're looking to buy a home or sell a home, you've got to have a third party, expert third party, a consultant. A, a coach. A Someone coach. Someone can coach you. And be like, hey, you're bl- you got Mr. Blind and spots. Mrs. Buyer, I yes. need you to give me 10 push-ups, 10 jumping jacks, and 10 <laughs> sit-ups, and get all your pre- paperwork to your lender so you can get your pre-approval. <laughs> you got to be pre-approved. Don't even go on Zillow. <laughs> Don't even go on the internet, start looking at homes, unless that's that's something you like to do. Mm-hmm. I know there's people that go to garage sales. They don't need anything. They can go to garage sales. They go to open house sales. They're not even buying a house. Mm-hmm. Not even buying a house. And they go into open houses. Those are professional open house lookers. Well, I mean, there was a while when we didn't have open houses to go to. Yeah. Well, we could, but it was just very um, restrictive. Yeah. So now, you know, pretty much things are opening up. Things are a little bit more normalized with the open house procedures, which yeah. is it's nice. And, you know, some people like to go and get decorating ideas. Yeah. Or, or they're just like, nosy. They're nosy. Like, we know you nosy. Yeah. Hawaiian. I think Hawaiian. I don't know if it's Hawaiian or Samoan. Maha'oi. That might be Samoan. It might be Hawaiian. But, and I know Hawaii, another Hawaiian word, ni'ele. Uh-huh. What you, ni'ele? <laughs> no, I'm your neighbor. I'm just coming and checking out your house. Because you never invite me over for dinner, so now I get to come see them. <laughs> you cannot stop me because it's open house. Anyway, a um, couple more strategies that we want to share with our buyers and sellers before we take the next break and uh, bring on our guest is uh, let's, let's give them one or two best practices if you're buying, one or two best practices if you're selling. Let's start off with the buyers because they're the ones getting beat up big time right now. Well, you had already mentioned make sure that you have all your paperwork in order. Yeah. Right? So the other thing is that you, you want to have an agent that's representing you that is full-time. Yeah, full-time. full-time. Get a full-time agent. If yeah. How the heck are they going to be like, you know, and if you, they're calling you, they're giving you the update on your offer, and then you hear this in the background, oh, yeah, you like fries with that. No. That means they work in the drive through at McDonald's as their day job. Not that that's what they do, but I, you know, give me, it's just demonstrating the example mm-hmm. that you've got to have a, we, like we did focused. a video on this. Like they're focused. They've got to be focused. You're not really looking for a realtor. What are you looking for? A negotiator. An, an, an expert negotiator. An expert an negotiator. An expert negotiator. They're crunching the numbers. They're checking it out. They're keeping the eye on the prize. They're doing this mm-hmm. full time. Yeah. They're they, checking in with you, keeping you up to date. They have all the different strategies on how to, um, you know, to we best do? navigate and get you into escrow. You know, we do yes. I, that I, I find I would be so shocked and surprised if most agents do this. We door knock. Mm. We knock on the door and say, hey. With an offer. With an offer. And we a door pre-approval. Knock. We uh, go out there and we call the neighborhood. We even had one of our agents that was like going through. It was a brand new construction neighborhood because yeah. her client really wanted to live Because you never in know. You never know. Anything can happen. So she was out there knocking on doors. And people had, had only moved in like three, four months ago. So our agents, here's the expectations if you're thinking about, by the way, we're always looking for new agents to come join the team. But don't be thinking like, hey, you know, I'm playing Pop Warner football and now I want to go and join the NFL. It's, it's hard to bridge that gap. We will teach you and train you if you got skills and you got, if you're hungry, we'll give you this NFL skills of real estate. One of them is, and again, this is tying into what we do differently for our clients that are looking to buy a home in this highly competitive market is, what's the expectation for dials, outbound phone calls for our agents? Well, for our agents. Daily. Daily, 100. 100 dials. Yep. 10, what's, 10 contacts. Yeah. Or, or one appointment. One appointment. So but it's 100 it's dials. Or, or, or. Just yes. do 100 dials. If you get a, 10 contacts, great. If you get one appointment, great. But the thing that's in your control, 100 dials every day. The activity. And our exactly. inside sales agent, they're not working directly with clients. Their one thing is just making calls. What's the, connections. What's, what's the daily expectation? 250 outbound dials. Yeah. So if we add up all the numbers, yep. with- I would say easily we're doing over 1,000 outbound dials a week looking for homes for our clients. Mm-hmm. Super proactive. All right. All right. Well, we oh, and you see- know what? What if they're like... So what if they want to book a consultation to get the NFL of real estate teams working for them? Go what to, what should yeah, they do? You can you know give us a call at 799-9596 or just go to teamlally.com. Yeah. Google us. We're all over the place. All right. We are going to take a short break, but stay with us. 
When we come back, we'll be talking with Michael Wong of Keke Oka'aina Family Learning Centers. We'll be talking about how the Laulima Giving Program brings companies and individuals together to help families in Hawaii. All right. Good job with the Hawaiian words. Yes. This is Scotty B from News Radio 830 KHVH. Team Lally, that's Adrian Lally and Attilio Leonardi and their crew at uh, Team Lally Real Estate Group of Keller Williams Honolulu. And they're doing things a little differently. They have a whole system that's on a different level than the average agent. They spend tens of thousands of dollars on marketing to get your home sold fast and make the most money. And right now, that is so important because uh, homes are out there selling for, for top dollar, right? Well, at least they should be. After failing to sell their $600,000 Kaneohe home, William and Doreen turned to Team Lally for some help. They followed their suggestions, and the superior marketing of Team Lally generated multiple offers in only eight days. So, uh, listen, they doubled down their effort when an issue came up, took care of business with the HOA, and no delays in closing. They're sending you all the way through the process and getting you the most for your property. Give Team Lally a call today at 799-9596, 799-9596, or teamlally.com, teamlally.com. Hi, I'm Barbara Corcoran. I hope every family will stay healthy and safe during these uncertain times. Our real estate market is experiencing many challenges every day. If you're planning to move or sell your home now, be sure to get the most current information from the best agent in your marketplace. In Honolulu, you should call Adrian Lally and Attilio Leonardi. You'll need an agent who is trusted in your community and understands your needs. Go online or call and please stay safe. Hello, Hawaii. It's Colin Coward. Things may have changed in the sports world, but the games must go on. Look, I invest in real estate all over America, and right now, with the ultra-low interest rates everywhere, if you're serious about selling your home, you need to talk to my friends... Adrian Lolly and Attilio Leonardi of Team Lolly, real estate group of Keller Williams Honolulu. Team Lolly's incredible marketing with 3D tours and its huge database of buyers has continued to sell homes quickly with multiple offers over the asking price. Adrian and Attilio continue to spend tens of thousands per month on marketing to attract hundreds of buyers every month using a unique app that communicates daily with over 3 million luxury home buyers around the United States. Adrian and Antilio guarantee to sell your home at a price and deadline you agree to or they'll buy it themselves. Give Adrian and Antilio a call at 799-9596 or online at teamlally.com. That's teamlally.com. And start packing. Tired of waiting two or three months to finalize your home loan or refinance? Jody Tonga and her team at Pacific Rim Mortgage have a turn time of 30 days or less by processing your loans locally. Take advantage of today's low interest rates by calling our good friend Jody Tonga of Pacific Rim Mortgage. Her personal cell is 488 5510. That's 488-5510. Hey, Adrian, guess what? What, Atilio? Jody has a huge secret. Oh, yeah? What is it? I can tell you. Yes, you can. Okay, here it is. Jody has a free home buying guide that reveals insider tips others may not want you to know. Wow, how do I get this free home buying guide? Easy. Just go to her website, PacificRim.com. That's PAC or P-A-C-R-I-M-N-T-G.com. I see the free home buyer guide has valuable information that can help me avoid mistakes and could cost me tens of thousands of dollars over the lifetime of my loan. Yes. So check out their site. That's uh, PacificRim.com or give her a call at 488-5510. That's 488-5510. What's the website? It's PAC, P-A-C, RIM, R-I-M, Mortgage, M-T-G, dot com. Hawaii, NMLS ID, 103254. Welcome back, and thanks for listening to the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the Guaranteed Sold Program, or we'll buy it. I'm Adrian, And I'm Attilio. And if you have any questions, just give us a call at 799-9596, or check us out online at teamlally.com. Our guest today was born and raised here in Hawaii, has three children and five grandchildren. He enjoys anything in the ocean, golfing, and sporting UH sports. He graduated with a Bachelor's of Science in Education, has been a teacher, coach, and athletic director for 20 years, and a media sales consultant since 1994. He is currently the Program Development Coordinator for the Laulima Giving Program with Keki Oka'aina 
Family Learning Centers. Please welcome our guest today, Michael Wong. Hey, Michael. Aloha, aloha. How are you? Adrian and Atilio, good to have you um, uh, on the phone. This is yeah. awesome. This is Hana Ho for us. That's this is sweet. our round two. One I know. Time. I was going to say welcome back. Kikioka Aina. Yes. <laughs> you know, I remember, I remember Kikioka Aina when you guys was on that um Move that bus. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Extreme Makeover Extreme Home makeover. Edition, brother. That was huge. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. You, and still, you guys still what? there in that same place? You betcha. Uh, oh. And growing, growing, growing. We, uh, uh, we're leasing the property next to us. We've uh, just uh, uh, in the process of getting two more positions and locations on the island. We just yeah. added uh, Kauai, a location in Kauai. So now we are da 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 officially across the entire state. That's so right. excited. Congratulations. Yeah. Taking care Thank of you, the Mahalo. kiki everywhere. So, yes, you have to, right? So, Michael, if our listeners yeah. want to you know, take a look about these uh, extreme home makeovers, what website could they go to yeah. to find out more? Great question. Great yeah. question. You just go to www.koka, mm-hmm. COCA, which stands for Kiki Oka Aina, okay. uh, dot org, COCA.org. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the first page, you'll see a link. Uh, to the video of what happened. Oh, nice. They built two homes, I mean, two uh, buildings in one week. Unbelievable. Cow. Unbelievable. Wow. Yeah, in yes. Kalihi, yes. with all the rain, too. That's amazing. In <laughs> Kalihi, and all the rain, and, you know, there's one road that goes up there, and lights were on 24-7. People, volunteers were working, uh, construction vendors working across each other because they got it all done in one week. I know. I remember the call. The calls was coming into the police. Hey, what they doing up there? I can't understand. Maybe get some UFOs when land. No, what they doing? I don't understand. Oh no, they just they taking care of the kids. No worries. Yeah, yeah. And the then, place uh, was lit up, and and you know the reason. I I just have to say, uh, Momi Akana has always had a heart to yeah. give, yeah. and mm-hmm. because of that, this is this is the pay it forward kind of thing that she was awarded these two things, and what she wanted to do is to use those places to bless more families. And yeah. now we, we, we have the opportunity to just bless people throughout the entire state, not only to educate them, educate the families, uh, but to allow them to be ready for school. We, we, we work with Walmart and our friends at KHON Channel 2 to ask for donations. Mm-hmm. And we took last year, in, well, 2019, because we couldn't do it last year, but we gave out six or seven large moving boxes to 19 public schools across Oahu. They were so thrilled. Because you know how it is as a teacher, right? If the student doesn't have the supplies, guess who's buying it? That would be you. The teacher, yeah. Oh, yes. And so they were so thrilled to just see binders, paper, pens, all the things that the child needed to be successful in their educational experience. Yeah, Yeah, I saw that that link. It's a a school drive. um... Yes. Fundraiser. Yes. So, if any of our listeners yes. want to go, is it on the, the coca dot org? They can click on there. Yeah, and, that's all. There. And we have we donations are accepted uh, on the coca website, or we have one for laulima giving program dot org yeah. as well. And do you guys accept yeah. cash? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. You can, you can Big drive bundles and visit of it. Us. Check, Brown paper check, bag. Check spread. Just back up the truck, brother. <laughs> there it is. You know, I, I I can't say I'm a graduate of Kiki Okaina because then you guys would have had to have started in the 60s. I don't think it, you guys have been around that long, but my kids are. Mm. And my two youngest, oh. uh, Tilio Jr. and Isabella, we I remember we would we went to, I had something up at Waimea Falls, had something at the mm-hmm. zoo. Mm-hmm. Uh, we mm-hmm. went to our mm-hmm. local community mm-hmm. center and uh, mm-hmm. played the games and the, the classes. So we yes. participated yes. and... Fast forward to Fantastic. today. Yeah, fast forward today. Both of them are college graduates. Uh, one's married, working. Fantastic. And uh, good foundations from Kiki Oko Aina. So, well, you know, your you your experience is very common. I was yeah. out uh, giving a presentation to Bill um, at Aloha Kia. Yeah. And I was, I was sharing some of the things. His receptionist came to the door and she said, did I hear you just say Kiki Oka Aina? <laughs> and, I, and I said, yes, yes, I did. And she started to cry. Yeah. She said, you know what? My children went through all five years, and they, are so, they were so prepared for school because of the loving teachers uh, that, that, uh, that helped her at Kiki Oka Aina. And so Bill looked at me and said, okay, whatever you want, I'm in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the prime example awesome. where, hey, folks, we don't need to rely on government to solve all our problems. We can yes. come together as a community, create these organizations, and mm-hmm. yes. good job yes. to you all. Yes. So, so Michael, like, was, um, 
I was yeah. going to say, what what kind of events do you guys have yeah, coming, coming up? I know that with all of the, the different tiers and different things that we can and cannot do, um, yes. what are yes. you guys, yes. what's on the agenda? You know, that's a, that's another great question. First, And it matches your Hawaiian pronunciation, uh, Adrian. Good job. I was proud of you. <laughs> I think I think... I think one of the things that's really awesome is last year we had the COVID, right? Lockdown, yeah. can't mm-hmm. go anywhere. And so all of our events were done virtually. Our friends at, at uh, K2 and Channel 2 created virtual events for Lao Lima uh, uh, Telethon, uh, people sending in uh, donations, credit card donations. We even had Alaska Airlines that gave us nine uh, round trips for two anywhere Alaska flew. Oh, wow. So we were so excited. And that morning it started at 5 o'clock, the phone started ringing. We answered the phones. We took the donations, and by the by ten o'clock, we were they were sold out. And mm. so the 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 rep from um, yeah. uh, the rep representative uh, from Alaska came in to help us man phones in the afternoon, and we said, um, "Could could we have more?" And he said, "How many? Uh, okay, I'll give you ten more." So he, he gave us a total of of twenty wow. round trips that we got to sell to the people. Um, and for the Lolly McGiver program, it was, it was last That's year was awesome. our Very most awesome. amazing year in a COVID Aloha. year. Yeah, yeah, Alaska Airlines. You know, we uh, got a report so, back that uh, 19 of the tickets was uh, used to go to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got insider information, brother. That's a, that's yeah. a good call. Huh? Yeah. So we have a we have a fundraiser. I mean, um, I mean, a, a school drive supply uh, going on again in ju- in uh, July, but we're doing it a little bit different because. Um, we're, Walmart isn't really sure about whether we should open up, you know, uh, though they're letting some small groups. Yeah. Uh, we, usually, we usually have a pretty large presence, so I think what we, we might have to look at some doing some other things. But we have some uh, local businesses who are uh, accepting donations, uh, people like Align Mortgage, Aloha Kia, um, you know, they're uh, Ruby Tuesday, Old Navy. They're setting up box uh, donation centers that the people can come in, have a good meal, uh, have nice. a good time. And uh, and then donate as well. You know, give give us yeah. that list again, so people can go do two things: they can support oh, a local oh, business oh, and then support yeah. you guys. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Align Mortgage has been an amazing. I, I'm not sure if you work with Align Mortgage. Yeah. Tony Diaz and his team out there, oh, Tony's fantastic. Awesome. Uh, yes, Tony is fantastic. Aloha Kia, Surf Co Hawaii was strong for us. Old Navy, Ruby Tuesday gave us. Uh, almost a thousand dollars of uh, gift cards for Ruby Tuesday, wow. uh, and you know people got to eat, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Hickam yeah. Federal Credit Union. I got to tell you something about Mai Mai. Mai Mai is an elementary school in Nuuana. Yes. For the past few years, they what they did a third grade teacher came up with the idea that they said, "Let's teach our children how to be giving, mm-hmm. how to be givers to the community." And so what they did is every student would bring one unwrapped gift. And they would have an assembly, they would have music, they would have dancing. It would be a nice opportunity, and the, people, the young people would bring all the toys, unwrapped toys. And so ma'i ma'i, what they would do is they would have the students talk to the parents and say, Mom and Dad, if I do this job, how much would you pay me? And so Mom is like, okay, if you do the yard and things like that, I'll pay yeah. you $5. And so they collect all their money. And then they would go as a class, and they would go to Target. And, you know, Target has buy one, get, you know, things like yes. special opportunities. And they would buy, and then they would bring it to the assembly. And four vans full uh, in 2019, oh, wow. when we last Four, I mean, real-sized vans yeah. full of gifts for children that they would never meet. Nice. That was fantastic. You know, teaching teaching young people how to give is important, right? Yeah, you know, a lot of times we focus on, you know, what did you learn in school today or how are your grades? Mm-hmm. You know, as right. kids, they're like, oh, these adults with these questions. <laughs> I wish they would ask more fulfilling, <laughs> growth-oriented questions. You know, that's what the eight, eight-year-old is thinking. And I learned this yeah. from Oprah yeah. had a Oprah had a parent, parent counselor on there, and he said, here's the three questions you should ask your children. What's something uh-huh. kind that you've done recently? Um, mm. What are you grateful for? And what's wow. something you've learned? And so, I and like I, all three of my kids, they get that three questions. I don't care if they eye roll. I don't <laughs> care. I ignore the eye roll. You're going to get those three questions, and that's what we want. Because don't you want kids that are that are learning things, that are that are appreciative, and that are doing kind and that are kind. So there's your three questions. So you, yeah. And then you reverse the culture to let them understand that your job does not define who you are. Yes. And and it's what's in your heart. Are you give? Are you giving? Are you kind? 
you forgive people? Are you full of grace? Yes. If somebody is hurting, do you step forward and say, ah, how, what can I do? And you don't just say it, but you actually say, here, this is something to help. That's, that's where society needs to turn. And, yeah. I, and I'm so proud of the people at Kiki Okai. And, you know, when we were, when we were told last March, yeah, uh, no, no, a, week, a year from March, yeah. to, that we're going to go home because we're going to flatten the curve. Remember that? Mm-hmm. And so we thought, ah, two weeks, we're going to flatten the curve. Well, you know, that changes. So what, what Kiki Okai did, uh, they created a Zoom uh, presentation uh-huh. so that the, they still kept in contact with the students. And you know how difficult it is to keep a two, three, four, five-year-old focus yes. on a Zoom call? It's hard they in would person. dance, they would <laughs> sing, yeah, <laughs> in person too. So they would do all kinds of things. So the students would stay locked in. And now that we're starting to move back, we're looking forward to that reconnection again. Yes. But we never lost contact with them. And that's to me, that's, that's, a, that's a real amazing thing that, that Momi could have just said, well, we'll just close up shop for a while, because a lot of people yeah. did. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, not, not for the Hawaiian kids. It's just, uh, it's, we're, we're, they're very important to us. Well, you guys are role modeling resiliency, which is what we want our kids to. Yeah. And that's, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a huge, a huge success to, you know, think outside the box yeah. and be able to, yeah. you know, keep the attention of such little yeah. ones over, over yeah. a computer screen. So well, they're 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 our future, right? We have to make sure they stay on track because if we lose them, then what do we have? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the website yeah. is koko.org. dot yeah. org. That's like knock out complacency, <laughs> knock out apathy, knock out mean so, kids. So, no, no, knock so, them out. Bring so, them to KK Okaina. So Michael, um, when I was on the site, I noticed that you have uh, it's like a do- adopt a family yeah. program. Yeah. Could you yeah. share with Why our that, listeners a little bit more course. about that's that? A, that's, yeah. that's a great program. You know, mm-hmm. we have ways that people can donate. They can go online. They can they can donate with a credit card. Um, they can donate uh, new items, household items. We don't ask for iPads or iPhones like that. We we want to take care of people's real needs. Yeah. And so um, and so uh, the adopt the family program is really amazing because um, companies, uh, hotels or even uh, local families can adopt a family and how they figure out how many, how many would they want to adopt. Uh, $50 is what we ask for per person. Yeah. So if you want to, if you, if you want to adopt four people, that would be an adoption of $200 investment. Well, a lot of our people go more than that. Cause here's what, here's what happens. They, they write to me, I'm interested in, in adopting a family. I send them out the form, mm-hmm. they send it back. And then I, as the caseworkers collect families, uh, statewide we share with them uh, with the sponsors say how about this family and the yeah. fa- and those applications always come with a story because the story is important you know mm-hmm. as, as you start looking yeah I want to I want to I want to help this family because the story resonates with them and they think I, I used to be there and now I can pay it forward to somebody who's there right now so the adopt a family launches in September and mm-hmm. it ends uh, mid uh, mid December mm-hmm. because we want to make sure everything is given out to the people. Such a glorious time to see young children who are expecting nothing because yeah. mom and dad have nothing, or it's a single parent situation, or dad lost his job because of COVID and they're struggling and things like that. To be able to receive something brand new, not hand me down from anyone else, brand new. And I, we we took we took some to the Kapilani um, Children's Hospital, yeah. and it was so cute to see the eyes because we 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 walked in and the girl said, "This is for me." Uh, yes, it is, but there's more. <laughs> she was like, oh, "Wait, wow. more?" Because they were they were so excited to get one, but to put down four or five different yeah. things and watch their eyes just light up, and mom and dad start to cry too because you know from bikes to 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 uh, uh, plush animals to to um, uh, uh, books, to uh, baseball mm-hmm. mitts and footballs, and yes, yeah. yes, uh, boogie boards, all kinds. And so what the family says is this is what we'd like. And so the people uh, that adopted the family actually they go shopping for, mm-hmm. for the family, and then they, then they deliver, uh, we help deliver the, the donations. It's amazing. It's, a, it's Christmas. It's a yeah. time of year yeah. where, you, where you do for someone else. So you guys collect the stories, and then the families that are interested in adopting a family – yeah. They they understand. Yeah. It was a personal connection. Yeah, the the personal connection and yeah. these things right. that would right. really, you know, bring some joy. And yes. yeah, and then it, I think it's joyful just going and shopping. Yeah, right, and and knowing yes, that that's, this, that's, 
That's really the fun amazing. part. And yes. you and you know, if you wanna if you wanna look at, as I mentioned KHUN as our media partner. Mm-hmm. Uh, they they host uh, a, a, a whole uh, a, a grouping of Lao Lima stories. Kathy Maneno is our storyteller. Mm-hmm. She can put a story together. What she does is she builds vignettes. And and because privacy is very important to us, we never we never offer names. Uh-huh. We just say a single mom in uh, Kaniohi um, is struggling through uh, some some cancer issues right now. Yeah. She's afraid of, for her children what's going to happen. And and so so as as people help, they see those vignettes, and they say yeah 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 right there. And and so they, there's a number that's attached to that family, and then we connect the two. We connect the sponsor with the family. And um, that's how we put it together. It's yeah. a, it's an amazing program. So, if you're a family in need, can they go to the same website for to a- apply? Actually, actually no. no. Um, what because because Lao Lima is a referral based company mm-hmm. uh, program. We no one can come to us and say, "Hey, I'd like help." Yes. What they have to be is referred to by someone else, either. a a pastor or a caseworker or an agency worker, mm-hmm. uh, a friend of the family, something like this, some, a teacher, somebody who knows their story because that person who makes the referral actually writes the story. Yes. This is, this is what's happening. So this, this isn't a, a, a handout situation. It's a hand up that involves a third yes. person. Yeah. Because we all need each other. Yeah. So if yeah. any of our listeners know of somebody that really yeah. can use a Have hand them? up, they can write the yeah. story and bring it to your guys' attention. Yeah, and I'll and I'll help them with the story because we have a specific application. Just give me a call, uh, just or, or just email me, and I will get in touch with that person. And so the per so the family says, uh, so the sponsor says, yeah. mm-hmm. I'd like to adopt a family of four. Okay, so I look for ap- applications that have families of four, and I will send her here. Here I'll send that sponsor family. Here's an option. How does this look to you? Mm-hmm. And then they write back, yes, we'll do them. And so the connection is made um, after that they agree on the family. So what's a good phone number, email, contact, in case of our, our listeners Perfect. need to, yeah. to get a hold Perfect. of you? Our, num- yeah. our, our number, our number at, at, at Kikio Kaina, 843-2502. 843-2502. Mm-hmm. My yeah. email address. Yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead with the email. My email address is Michael M I C H A E L dot Wong W O N G at coca dot org. At coca dot org. So either way, if you reach me there, I'll be may, I'll, I'll I'll respond as quickly as I can. Yeah. So uh, k o k o dot org, and uh, if you k o k a k a and yes. um, coca coca with the k. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, K, for, K as in Keki. Um, you know what I want to I wanna put out to the business owners here? You know, a lot of times from a business owner, you know, we get inundated with requests for help. And sometimes you just, it's hard to weed through it, uh, uh, which ones to do, and you kind of help everybody. So sure. one of the things that we do is that um, uh, I, I like to put this message out to to the business owners out there and see if they'll... Uh, click on that button and and adopt a family and get the whole get the whole organization or their company involved, because when you have a culture of giving, you increase yeah. uh, employee retention. Um, yeah. They yeah. they they're stop. Ha- they're happier. They're happier, and they yes. they stop taking all the post-it notes home <laughs> to the kids and <laughs> pens and and um, but you know. It, it's called for benefit marketing, and mm-hmm. you can put it on your website and talk about it because consumers they've done a study. Have you ever, have you ever heard of Tom Shoes? You know, you buy one, they donate one to yeah. a child yeah. in a third world country. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, uh-huh. that's called for benefit marketing. And the CEO wrote a book, and he says when consumers are looking at a business, so you business owners, when the consumer is looking at your business, and they're like, oh, "Okay, you look like any other X company or Y company." 95% of the time, they decide to go with the company that demonstrate that they give back to the community. Man, so win-win. Right. Win. Amen. Win-win. Yes. That's right. So. Yes. And you know, while, while you're at it, and yeah. uh, Atilio, thank you for that. Mm-hmm. While you're at it, you know what I'm also looking for is property managers. Yes. The, the reason is, is uh, Waihonua at Kivalo Basin uh, called me and said, our, our building 
we'd like to put a box down by the elevator. Yeah. And I, and I, and, and so they put a box and we filled up uh, two vans with that. Um, you know, people go home and they come back in, they drop in a box and the manager takes care of it. So property management would be awesome as well. Like resident managers. That. Yeah. The resident managers. Yes, yeah. Yes. Because yes. and yeah. it's and that, this is the time of the year to do this, right? Because everybody, this is all top of mind during Christmas time, mm-hmm. but in the summertime, yeah. we're like, oh, gonna be like me. And you know, I grew up Paula, and you know what I had in the summertime? I had sorry McDonald's, <laughs> but I used to take the the trays from McDonald's, and that was my boogie board. <laughs> <laughs> sorry McDonald's. Sorry McDonald's. I think, I think we all. I think we. I think we all had one of those McDonald's yeah. trays out in the water. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> afford the Town and Country <laughs> Piper board. I had one from McDonald's. It was brown. It had a good edge on them. <laughs> And the, and the splintered plywood. You yeah. Gotta make sure you put the right oh yeah, I had that too. That's the, for on the sand, right? <laughs> like oh yeah, you, guys, you, you got all uh, splinters in your feet. You were shredding down at Pounders. Oh yeah. <laughs> but, I didn't uh, know you grew up Paula. That's a yeah. that's a that's a god place out there. Yeah. No, I love living up on the North Shore. You know, bike and uh, yeah. McDonald's trade. That's all we needed <laughs> to have fun all summer long. <laughs> And uh, you, and you t- you take them back after the summer. Or you just put it under the surf rack. Yeah, I just way. I uh, <laughs> go. You know, put them in the spot where it says "Do not throw in the trash." Place here. <laughs> so thank you, Ray Kroc, for lots of fun-filled summers down at Pounders with your uh, boogie board sponsorship program. Yep. And 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 none of us kids uh, use two fins, right? You, yeah. you you use one, so your cousin or your brother could use another one. So. Well, you just had uh, Hawaiian that. feet. You just kick hard. <laughs> your feet is wide already. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, well, um, coming to an end of another awesome Team Lally Real Estate Radio yes. Show, giving back to our community. We have uh, Michael Wong, Kiki Oka Aina, uh, Ho- again, Koka dot org, K O K A dot org. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you so much for your time, you guys. You guys are the Thanks. best. You guys Thanks. are real. I like that. Oh, thank you That's so really much. Really awesome. Continued success to both of you. Go team Lally. All righty. Thank you, Michael. All right. Aloha. I was gonna ask Michael if on the playground anybody ever said Michael, Michael, motorcycle. Probably I have friends like Michael, they used to always say that. I don't know oh, why. Probably. And uh so their number eight four three two five zero two eight four three two five zero two. If you're a business out there, we uh, you know do some for benefit marketing and help your, a, just help your community. Adopt a couple families. That's right. Come on, you guys doing okay? Mm-hmm. COVID, everybody's shopping, they're buying stuff, mm-hmm. and uh, and or donate a family. And if because of COVID, these family. families need help. And if you know someone that needs help, yeah, give Michael mention call. them. Yeah, get All them right. on the list. All right, we just got a couple minutes left. Well, I do. Let- I do want to mention OahuDivorce.com. Unfortunately, sure. if you're in that situation, Family Law Attorneys, we always, every month, we offer a continuing law education course. It's $55, but if you go to the website and use our password, it's free. It's free. free and free, free. Uh, we provide great resources, title reports, full market values, and we're our expert, court experts. Yep, expert witnesses. Yeah. All sorts of good stuff. Anything else you want to mention? Open house. Open house. Team Lally open house dot com. We usually have them every weekend uh, all over the island. All over the island. And, and uh, uh, tell them you heard about it on the show. That's right. And uh, they will give you a warm handshake. All right. And then hand sanitize right after. <laughs> Thanks for listening and thank you to our sponsors. Jody Tanga and Derek Tanga, Pacific Rim Mortgage. Bradley Mariama of Allstate Insurance. Kenji Vendetta, Pillar to Post Home Inspections. John Speed of Kilauea Pest Control. Duke Kim Han of Hawaii Pacific Property Management. Kyle Shimoda of Impact Wealth Solutions. Wendy Oshiro of Reverse Mortgages, Open Mortgage. Robinson Villavero of Fine Line Paintworks. James Santiago with Kaji Cleaning. If you want to get a hold of any of our sponsors, just go to teamlally.com. We also want to give a big thank you to Leah Rodriguez, our producer here in the studio. Jim Make sure to tune in next week. We'll have an awesome guest talking about something that will change your life. Forever. This is the Team Lally Real Estate Show. Home of the Guarantee. Soul Program. We can't sell your home at the agreed upon price in our time frame. We'll have it bought for cash. Thanks and aloha. The preceding program was sponsored by Team Lally.